All right, we're here at Science Studio headquarters. That actually sounds so official. <laughs> um, we're taking apart the computer that Greg built me like three years ago. Um, I'm holding DDR3, which is ridiculously expensive at Best Buy. And we're gonna be swapping parts into this old rig, which as you can tell, I haven't cleaned it ever. Is it supposed to scrape like that? No, it's not supposed to scrape. <laughs> Do I have to like finger you gotta, flick it? Yeah. Dude, this is like super cramped. This How is you... so cool, like it zooms in on Pepsi. Yeah. Have you, they introduced Pepsi? Uh, yeah. I'm getting them close-ups. Jacob, you didn't do this last week. I'm like Steve Irwin, Greg. I'm following the cat around. Hey. Hey. We're asking people on the street, would you rather have the car on the right or the car on the left, which comes with a Meshify S2? Is that a serious question? I'm taking this one. There you have it. People prefer the Meshify S2. I was like on an expedition with your cat. <laughs> you, you had a, a, a screw in here. You were trying to rip the motherboard oh, out. Really? Yes. <laughs> That's why it was getting twisted. Well, it's kind of difficult to figure uh. out. There's so many screw holes. I love how like all of the computers and all of the equipment that's around here. And then we got this freaking piece. <laughs> what? What is this case, Greg? <laughs> like, catch me up. It's from, a, this? it's from a company called Anities. I reviewed it actually in this video up here, somewhere up here. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, this was one of the first cases that I ever got for free to review. Um, and it, it's a very, I, know, I think the coolest thing about this case is the fact that there's like anti-sag technology in here. Like this plastic holder is perfect for uh, PCBs that extend past the motherboard. So. Well, I never got the chance to test that out because all the equipment in here is super janky. Yeah. Yeah. This, this case weighs like 50 pounds. <laughs> Kat seems more interested in this build than I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, she's do you like that? Look at how dusty. What are these called? GPUs? Uh. Yeah. yeah, graphic cards graphics, for graphics people at home. Dude, look at look at that view roll. You're like growing fuzz on your car. That's disgusting. How could you? Well, it's been a while since I've used it. <laughs> I feel like oh god, I'm kind of there's a lot of stuff going okay, on in you, here. Can you move move that move that? Yeah. Uh, there oh, you go. Yeah, you there gotta you go. finger flick it out. <laughs> 990 or 970? 990. Yeah, it's a 990 FX. Yeah, so that's actually. This was, this cost me seventy dollars. <laughs> I remember buying it from Computex or wait not Computex. What's the other store? Micro Center. Micro Center. Computex isn't a store. <laughs> Whatever. You were at Computex. I remember you were like Jacob, Jacob. This is what you need. Seventy bucks. This is this is a great buy. And then you're like this FX. This is only like a hundred dollars. This is such a great buy. It was two or three years ago. I mean, before AMD had anything viable, this was like all we had. So I, I took mean, this out. Is the arrow up there get pointed to the arrow right there? Yeah. Okay, good. Because I took it out and I couldn't get it, it back only in. Go, it, it's keyed. I mean, the way that these look, like, on the bottom side, because because there are, like, you know, certain s chunks that don't have uh, little pins on them, there's only one way they'll go. Oh, on. really? Yeah. So, so see, it's see probably those... a good thing I didn't force it in. Yeah, because <laughs> well, yeah, you would have been pinned. See those keys? Like, yeah. It's keyed with the same pin. Oh. The... Yeah, so you just drop it in kind of like... Yeah, like that. Yep. There you go. So we'll make a video out of this. I'll put some like ultra cheap build together. Try to price the parts out online, and then. Uh, Am I allowed to touch all this? I feel like I shouldn't. You, be. You, it's fine. It's so, so you can talk about yeah, it. I, I mean, don't know what I'm looking honestly, at. this isn't a bad 990FX board. Uh, it's just a 990FX board. That's the only issue, really. Are you gonna play like dubstep music as I bring this in on the channel? I can do it right now if you want. What do I do? <laughs> You gotta, do I like undo the antennas? Um, well, yeah, actually, so undo that. This already has a built-in backplate, if you notice. Remember how difficult it is yes. to get in? So you can actually just Pop that take one this out. one out, and then you don't even need to put one in. You just slide that into place. This is a lot nicer. Pepsi's trying to help. Yeah, so uh, change of plans. We're, we're going to take everything out of the case. <laughs> That's just so uh, filthy. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to trash these fans. These are garbage. Uh, we're gonna how, how power, power clean the supply? entire the entire case is gonna Will be you top off. She's she's. <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna go, bro? <laughs> like there's so much dust oh, in this case. 
I know. It is so painful. Are you, do people like clean their rigs? Uh, yeah, that's like a thing. Yeah. Now I will say that this side where the the plexiglass is supposed to go, it's I don't know where that is. Plexiglass. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You lost the other panel. Yeah, I think so. I you only have that. one tempered glass panel. Well, yeah, one went on the back. I don't know. That's that one. So you lost the front panel. Yeah, it's a big panel. They're hard to lose. I lost it. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna give you another case. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, what's God. the matter with this one? It's so chick, if you're missing a left side panel, like <laughs> and I'm, you... I'm missing this front part. You lost the front part of the panel too? Well, it was pissing me off one night because it like wasn't working properly. So I took, I ripped, I was trying to pick it up and I didn't realize that wasn't a handle. And so I picked it up and it was about to fall and the whole thing ripped out. Jesus. Yeah, so, okay, another change of plan. We're gonna completely trash this case. <laughs> Whenever Greg and I built this, Greg's like, I don't have enough screws for all of it, so we're gonna have to like disperse them. So there's like four screws holding in the, what's that called, motherboard, like two holding in the fans, <laughs> and like three holding up the AIO. Hey, to be fair, since that day, I showed him this, I have been organizing, and these are all screws for different things, like fans, power supplies, motherboards, SSDs, hard drives, radiators. So I've learned my lesson. Not, uh, it's not gonna be like a domino effect. It's not super heavy. Uh, yeah, no, you're fine. There you go. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at, but okay. It's good, it's good. Okay, so a quick rundown of the specs in his new system. Fantex P350X is gonna use the Gigabyte X470 motherboard, Ryzen 7 2700, and I think I'm gonna give him a 980 Ti. It's one of the Zotac cards that I that I purchased. Y'all don't use cheap uh, toilet paper. That I purchased a while back. <laughs> use the standoffs, line up the standoffs with the holes in the motherboard. Should this click in? It looks like, it won't click in, but it, it looks like you've got it settled. Just like that, yeah. Boom. Good, and then you can line it up. Uh, you'll see some cutouts there. And that's where you'll screw in the power supply. I should practically make mine on the YouTube channel. All right, we got Be Quiet 80 millimeter fans. Yeah, one, 140. 140. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Greg's squeezing some stuff in the back. Oh, yeah, she's getting in there. We're getting it in there? Yeah. I don't know. That's that gonna be cool. RGB. It's gonna look sweet. It's gonna be lit. Are you an RGB fan? Literally. Uh, I don't like keeping stuff looking like the rainbow, the typical yeah. RGB. I, I just like RGB because I can pick a color scheme, right? Yeah. So you can make this look orange to match the rest of the stuff in here, or you can make it look white or whatever. This piece again is not necessary. We're just doing it because we want it to look cool. Yeah. I like this case even more. Like I, I thought I liked really big cases. This case. But yeah. this one's a lot smaller and I actually like it more. Yep, it looks, it looks. What's up PNY? Shout yeah. out. This is a uh, PX, what is this? Uh, can't even read it. We don't know what it is, but it's a PNY. <laughs> We're doing the difficult task of clicking in SATA cables. Clicking in SATA cables. Clicking in SATA cables. So hard drive, SATA cables, check. Yeah. Be quiet. Big old 140 fans. <laughs> check. <laughs> SSD, check. 50,000 cables everywhere, check. <laughs> See, in this case here, we have a bunch of dead space between the edge of the board and uh, where the cable holes are, right? Yeah. So if we ran fan cables across, it would look kind of stupid having just like thin little cables yeah. just stretching across. So we're gonna tuck them in underneath the cutout behind the motherboard tray uh -huh. and then have them wrap around so all you see is the cable coming out from behind the board. Yeah, that right? looks so fast. Small little uh, cable management tips for those who wanna hide as many as possible. So we got two cables in. How many we got coming out, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> so see, so a lot more subtle now. Yeah, so that's something. Oh yeah, that looks pro. Something that uh, you guys can try out yourselves if you want to hide your cables. And then you have this extra space here that you, you want to kind of bypass. Is that, is that used for a reason? Is this where if well, you have a bigger motherboard? Exactly, yeah. So some motherboards extend past these screws quite a bit. Oh, uh, so okay. it, they're not technically EATX, they're just large ATX. Some of them are EATX that go up to here, but 
Uh, there are some boards that are the size of the entire case, like they're like so oh, boards. Okay. So they, those wouldn't fit because of this, this kind of indention here. Uh, but this gives us more space to push cables, Okay. basically. So it's going to be easier to put the, the right side panel on. So this is powering exactly. the hard drive so these the SATA cables? This is for data. It's the oh, data transfer. Okay. So when you need to read and write, uh -huh. right, that's what the SATA data cables are for. And then these are called SATA power cables, and they look flat like this, right? So this okay. powers the drive. This uh -huh. will also power your SSDs, and then the thinner cables that connect here will power or will, will send data to and from your CPU. And okay. Your storage. I didn't know that. So. I was always confused why there was two things being connected to that. Last time, the last one that Greg built me, we used a bunch of uh, leftover parts because you know it wasn't anything special. So this time, you know, it's looking super duper fresh. It's gonna look clean in the back too. I'm like trying to cable manage some. And okay, so RAM. RAM. So because you've got the orange and black color scheme, we're gonna use Team Force, uh, Team Force, Team Group modules. These are T Force DIMMs, uh, the Nighthawk modules. These are RGB, so you can set these to any color you want. Although I recommend white or yeah. orange. Yeah. Uh, and then they also have the orange accents painted onto them, which will match the orange accents on the motherboard and the orange accents on the fans. Yeah, that's so, kind of awesome. They have a pretty cool color scheme going on here. And let's see the recommended. So two and four. So. Now with this, can I just buy more of those and just have like a maxed out like 32 gigabytes? Yeah, you can. Yeah, this is a GTX 1070. So I was I was going to give you that 980 Ti, yeah, one of the yeah. Zotec Amp Extremes, uh, but this makes more sense because it's orange and black, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, we use these parts, almost the same parts in a similar rig uh, that we put together a few months ago. So this is what the card looks like. That's box. So black and orange. Then you got a back plate. So if you wanted to push it in normally, uh -huh. right, you'd, you'd have a nice back plate. Exactly. Clean. Uh, but we're gonna sit, in, it's, it's gonna sit in the build like this, right? So you're gonna be able to see the orange. Yeah, that's gonna look great. And you're gonna have orange here, orange up there, orange on the ramp, and orange in the fan. Yeah, that's gonna look great. So it's gonna look pretty sick. So we're gonna slide this in. I'm excited to like, you know, for people that know me, I this will be my first ever PC gaming rig. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Right. Sorry. Right. So I'm excited um, to try and play some games with Greg. I'm probably going to suck, <laughs> but at least I'll have really high refresh rate and everything. Yeah, you got a nice monitor now, 144 hertz. Yeah, exactly. So I'm excited did. to use that. Yeah, this system will max out that as long as your settings aren't like completely <laughs> maxed out in 1440p, you'll, you'll hit over 100. Yeah, now talk me through, this case has RGB that yeah. runs through so it. see, it, there's no wires, it just connects like this, like little pins. So just as soon as you plug it, or like as soon as you connect, connect it. Yeah, you can see these little standoffs here. So these connect to these, and then uh, that's it. And then the RGB runs from the top down. And you can change it up top. You can change the color scheme. This power button also changes colors as well as this side here. Oh, oh really? Pretty, sh pretty sure. <laughs> I'm looking at it. It doesn't look like it's going to. I thought it did. Uh, I'll take your word. So yeah, there's the back of the case. You can see kind of like cable management. It's kind of messy given that... Uh, I mean, it's a lot better than it was. You got three hard drives and three drives in here, so that's that's part of the problem. Yeah. But it's gonna be really easy to slide this on, right? One of the reasons why I like this case so much, I think it's a great price, is because you can literally just slide it on with no issues. Instead of having to screw in like the fifty thousand nuts. <laughs> this is really uh. It's just a simplistic case. Very easy to, to slide the panel on. And it's like light. That's one thing. That my other one was like fifty pounds. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like you know thin steel, but. Uh, another cool thing about it is the glass. You'll have to clean this when you get home. Yeah, well. <laughs> it's like Pepsi's like snot is all over this. Is you can she just must be sneezing. you can see straight it's through. Through the season, Greg. Yeah, your old case had like a really tinted glass panel. Yeah. Right. This one's less tinted, so you can see into it. Easier. I can see. Yeah. I, I'm not sure. I haven't tested what the the driver conflicts are between FX and Ryzen. I'm assuming it's not good to just swap drives, or not swap <laughs> drives, but swap hardware, you know, stuff up in the generation and just let everything on as is and just keep some issues. So we're gonna do a clean install just to be safe. And uh, of course we'll leave the hard drive stuff as is and we'll be good to go. We'll sync up the lighting, then you can take it home and suck terribly in PUBG. Oh yeah, terribly. <laughs> Everyone's gonna make fun of me because I'm using a PlayStation controller on the... <laughs> yeah, but you're used to playing this game on a controller. Like, I don't blame you. High settings, 3440 by 1440, we're getting around 100 FPS. 
So that is definitely a huge improvement, wouldn't you say, Jacob? And uh, there's your system. So we synced all the lighting up except for the uh, RGB RAM for some reason. Gigabyte hasn't updated their software to include support for the uh, Nighthawk modules, which means we're going to have to download Team Group's own software to sync those up. We're going to turn those orange, and then everything else should be golden. All right, so thanks for tuning in to Greg's science channel. Um, I want to give a shout out to Greg. I have my old rig here. Um, Greg can probably tell you more about it than I can. Huge improvement. I had two 1050s. Someone told me that these were like, you know, amazing. Um, <laughs> but apparently they're not. But we'll see. I want to play PUBG. And just after the experience I had with this Black Ops 3 that uh, Greg and I used to play, on our previous channel, which no longer exists. <laughs> um, RIP Entertainment Studio. <laughs> yeah, I know, for real. Um, you'll be seeing me playing more and more, um, especially now that I can actually feel comfortable sitting down and playing and having a rig that I know will be able to handle the frame rates that I want to see, which, you know, I played a, a quick match here, and it was just amazing. I'm looking forward to having a monitor that can support the amount of frame rates that this can do and um, get back into gaming, because I've been slacking. Just shipping it back to my house is gonna be fun. Yeah, always keep your original case box, because it's a good way to ship your stuff back. Yeah, exactly. Or take it wherever you wanna go. Yeah, in case if you like lose random, you know, parts to it like I do. <laughs> yeah, like your front panel, like how do you lose your front panel? Uh, to be honest, I don't even, I think whenever my girlfriend was moving out of the house, I have a girlfriend now. Um, oh, whenever, congratulations, Jerry. Yeah, I know, that may surprise some on the channel. But I think when she moved out, I think she, uh, May have stole it, you know? I don't know. Oh, she stole your front panel? Yeah, maybe she thought it looked cool. Partly what caused me to stop gaming, honestly, for a while, um, my rig would just randomly freeze. And I always thought it was a GPU problem. Greg, um, actually, you know, everything in this rig is something that uh, was, you know, brand new. Um, but as soon as we had it booting up and, you know, installing stuff, it would freeze. And then we found out um, or we're very inclined to believe that the PNY SSD card um, that was in it was causing it to um, just freezing it to reboot the computer. Yeah, so that was the only thing from your previous system that was in the new system, yeah. right? So everything else I knew worked because I had used it all in previous builds. Yeah. And because that was the only thing from your old system, and you still saw the same problems, right? The random yeah, freezes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it we was just, just freeze. uh, concluded by process of elimination that that was the issue. And we've had, uh, frankly, we've had issues with SD cards from P, like regular SD cards that go into cameras yes. and stuff from P and Y. So I'm not sure what's going on. I'll message them and see what's up. But uh, yeah, that's it's 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 rare for an SSD. It's only what, like a year old? Yeah, I mean, it's very out. very new. Yeah. And I mean, in this rig, I didn't use it very often. Um, this was my editing rig when I uploaded to my YouTube channel like forever ago. <laughs> uh, but this was an addition to that rig. And yeah, I haven't had this very long. I well, feel like I every time I show up on your channel, I look more and more homeless. Yeah, you have like dog fur and like fuzz <sighs> all over your jacket, just FYI. My dog loves to like, I have a German Shepherd, he loves to pick up my clothes and then carry them into whichever room he's going into and then he'll lay on it. All right, so uh, I'm gonna take command of these uh, 1050s here. We're gonna see what we can do with this uh, platform and Jacob's gonna take home a baller rig basically the same rig that lisa uses to, to stream and game with she has her system in the other room and it's it basically got the same specs she has a 2700x and also a uh, gtx 1070 so you and her are going to see comparable frame rates which is cool you can you know you can relate you can put the same settings on basically and uh have the same frame rate or virtually the same frame rate so excited for that let's pack this thing up and uh you can get the heck out 